are going to install an integrated dishwasher. I should point out that this dishwasher is second hand and was donated by a family member. If you ever think that you're having a bad day, just remember that I had to carry this dishwasher from the back of the van across a building site to the house on my own. This video does not show how to plumb in the dishwasher as the plumber is doing that. Normally this is very easy and just requires a cold water connection with a three quarter inch BSP tap, often called a washing machine tap, and the waste connection spigot on the waste pipe of the sink. If we look at the plan, the dishwasher goes in between a 300 base unit and a 900 base unit. There is no unit for an integrated dishwasher, you simply leave a 600 millimeter gap. I've checked the instruction supply with the kitchen and that shows that we need a panel to prevent the dishwasher from tipping when the door is opened. I'm not sure if I ever found this, but I cut a piece from a scrap piece of panelling. Firstly, on this wall, the 300 base unit was fixed in the correct position. Luckily, I had a 600 base unit spur, which will be fitted later on. I positioned the 600 base unit next to the 300 base unit, then moved the 900 base unit into position. I also placed some 1mm shims in between these units, so that I'm left with a gap of 601mm. The 900 base unit is the sink housing, so it had to have holes cut out of the back using hole saws for the services. I levelled and fixed the 900 base unit to the wall, then I moved the 600 base unit out and moved that to the left hand side of the 900 base unit. This left me with a perfect 601mm gap for the integrated dishwasher. Obviously, if you don't have a spur 600mm unit, you will just have to measure and leave a 601mm gap. It's always best to leave that extra millimetre to be certain that the appliance will fit. At the bottom right hand side of the 900mm unit, I have cut out a large hole using a hole saw. This is for the pipes and the plug on the dishwasher, although I'm sure the electrician put the socket in the 300 base unit, so I had to move that at a later date. Any holes that have been made in the unit have been treated with external wood glue, as mentioned in the first video in this series, Kitchen Fitting Basics. I initially put the dishwasher into position until I fixed the panel above it, which prevents it from tipping over. I then had to pull it back out in order to feed the pipes into the sink unit. When the kitchen was delivered, there was a lot of carton strapping, often called Strapex. I always say this as it's useful for feeding flexi pipes and cables. I can feed this through the hole in the back of the unit, then use gaffer tape to stick it to the pipes and cables. Then use it to pull the pipes and cables into the unit. I'm carefully moving the dishwasher back and keep gently pulling on the strapping to ensure that the pipes and cables do not get caught or damaged. I should point out that there are no instructions with the dishwasher. Apparently you get a fitting kit with a new dishwasher, but I don't have that. Because there is a small gap at each side, I'm trying to get it centralised so that there is an equal gap at each side. So I've taped two 1mm shims at the right hand side to prevent the dishwasher being moved too far. The dishwasher needs installing so that it is level and also at the correct height. We need to ensure that the plinth will fit at the bottom. The front of the dishwasher needs to be completely flush with the front of the carcass on the adjacent units. Then, once the door is fixed, all doors will be in perfect alignment. 
The dishwasher height is adjusted by using the two feet at the front, which you adjust by turning them just like the base unit feet. At the back of the dishwasher, there is only one adjustable foot, but this is adjusted by using a screwdriver from the front. Once I'm certain the dishwasher is in the correct place, is level and is perfectly aligned, I am fixing it into position using the fitting pipe. I have now cut a scrap piece which fits perfectly on top of the dishwasher and will allow the handleless trim to be installed at the front. I have adjusted the feet so that the dishwasher is tight against the top panel so it should never move. Now I just need to fit the door and as mentioned earlier I do not have instructions for this or a template. The bottom of the dishwasher door also needs to be aligned with the bottom of the two carcasses. I decided to use timber on the floor to build up a ledge. This touches the doors on both adjacent units. This should ensure that the dishwasher door is set to the correct height. I have then placed the door in position and worked out the gap. I have then taped shims into position on the existing units so that the door is in the exact correct position. I have then used a red shim at the top to prevent the door from closing fully as it can be difficult to pull it open. I'm now sticking several pieces of mammoth tape onto the front of the dishwasher. If you have never used this tape before, it is excellent at sticking two items together. I have then peeled the backing paper off from the mammoth tape. I have then carefully positioned the door and pressed it onto the mammoth tape ensuring I press on really hard. The door is now stuck to the front of the dishwasher. I can carefully lower the door, then drill through the holes in the dishwasher and then use suitable screws to screw the door in position. Obviously you need to get the correct lens screws for this because you don't want them sticking through the front of the door. If I remember rightly, the door is held in position with about six screws. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please check out the other kitchen videos in the how to fit a kitchen playlist.